tuples are immutable. And uh, we can demonstrate that. Uh, we have demonstrated that. Um, and I'll just, uh, you know, kind of point this out. Let's uh, say tup is, you know, and I'll, I'll declare this explicitly, uh, cat, dog, mouse. And let's, uh, let's try to change the zeroth element to penguin. And of course, we can't. And we can see that tuple object does not support item assignment. Um, I know we've seen this before, but it's important. And let's uh, even take this a step further. Let's make this an integer, 74, and let's try to increment it. Um, this is, let's increment it by one. And, you know, what we'll see, again, is tuple object does not support item assignment. This is a similar dilemma. So, uh, th this is interesting because tuples can uh, hold collections. And let's say we have in this tuple, the first element is a list. So uh, 33, and let's say 65. Um, it turns out that we can modify uh, values in that list. So if I say tup sub zero, and let's modify the second value. Um, there we go. Oh, gosh. That's a mess. OK. There we go. Uh, so this is the zeroth element of the tuple, which is this list, and the first element uh, of, or index 1, or the, well, yeah, the index 1 element of that internal list. Let's set that to, I am different now. And let's print top. And as you will see, 74, I'm different now, 65, dog mouse. So that's, uh, that's a demonstration of how these, uh, how an element within a tuple, if it's mutable, you can modify it. And, uh, you know, on some in some basic way, we can think of this as uh, the tuple is storing pointers to a to locations in memory, and uh, it happens to be pointing to this list, and you can modify the list. The list will maintain its ID, but you can modify elements within that list because the list is a collection of pointers, and um, that's pretty easy. But you can't modify the tuple itself. Uh, or immutable elements within the tuple. And this gets back to that, um, that thing about the IDs, right? So let's, if, if I declare, you know, the same tuple, uh, you know, just because it's immutable doesn't mean, okay, so let, let's say, is tup, uh, is tup equal to tup2? And this is a convenience in Python. We can compare these. And yeah, it's true. These two are equal. Now, let's say top 2 sub uh, 0, which is the list, sub 1, which is 33, is going to get new and exciting. And so that 33 should get replaced in top 2. And let's see if they're still equal. So they're equal before, we make this modification, they're not equal after. And, uh, you know, if we want to take this a step further, um, you know, let's print the ID of tup and the ID of tup2. And let's do that again. I know I'm driving this point home, but um, notice it's true. And, you know, we've got this ID of top one, the ID of top two, then it's false. And we have the ID of top one and the ID of top two having not changed, right? We didn't change the IDs of the, the tuples, but we did change 
the values of things in the collection within the tuple. So uh, hope that makes sense. Hope that uh, that's clear. And I think it also gives an intuition of why even though these two tuples are uh, essentially the same, why they don't have the same ID, right? They don't have the same ID because uh, if, you, if you were to change something within here and they had the same ID, it would change that value in the other tuple as well. But that is generally not a thing that you're going to want to do. So let, let's try something else um, for fun. Let's say tup2 gets tup. And now, so we're uh, taking tup and we're putting, uh, we're, we're essentially uh, referencing tup from tup2. Let's see what happens now. Uh, true. And this is, uh, th this should make sense, right? True, they've got the same IDs. Um, and then true, they've got the same IDs. And if we were to print these out, uh, print both of them out, and why don't we just do that? Print tup, and let's print, uh, well, let's do this all at the very end. And we'll print tup, and then print tup2. And let's just knock out these other. Um, so since we're modifying tup2, we'll just demonstrate that what we've done is uh, we've modified the same object, right? Because tup2 gets tup. Um, let's try to make a copy of tup. And you might already notice, thanks to VS Code's highlighting, that there isn't an actual copy method for tups the way there is with lists. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, last thing I'm going to say about this is uh, you can actually cast a tuple to a list. And that's a thing that people do sometimes. And, uh, you know, so don't be surprised if you see this. Uh, so in this case, I'll just say this. Uh, list gets list of tuple of, you know, these values. Um, that is going to fail. Um, I'm looking at that here. Uh, that's a tuple. We should just be able to do it like that. And we're not getting an error. And it is indeed. That is indeed a list and not a tuple anymore. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can have elements within a list, you know, just to take this a step further, that are tuples, right? And um, this is sort of getting into the idea of an ordered dictionary where you have, uh, you could almost think of this one as a key and the two as a value. Um, but let's not worry about that at this point because uh, we haven't talked about dictionaries. But I, I still think it's interesting um, to mention that you have a relation, right? You have a relation defined by this tuple between 1 and 2 and a relation defined between 2 and 3. And you have ind indices associated with each relation, 0, 1st, 2nd indice, in index. And uh, we can cast that to a list, and there are instances where this could be, could have utility, depending on what you are trying to do.